It's important to think about what you're going to ask your community and why. It's a good idea to ask your community about the big decisions or big issues which will affect what your group will do. For example, what are the most important issues facing our community? What should be the priorities that the group works on over the next three years? And what exactly can our organisation do to help people? You should also talk about the big issues that happen inside your organisation about the way it operates, such as changing your location or the aims of the organisation. To do this, you will need to have a dialogue with your members about the options that face you and why you are considering them. Through members meetings that involve more of the organisation than just the committee, as set out in your constitution, which will have arrangements for big decisions of this kind, it's very important to ask the community what they think well in advance to minimise the chances of conflict and increase the opportunity for these things to be done by agreement. It's also important to ask about some of the smaller but nevertheless important issues and activities which affect your group and your members. For example, can you get members of the group to help design a leaflet to advertise a new service? What do they think about what should be the programme of new activities? And how do they think you can reach out to new people to get them involved in the work of your organisation? You may wish to work with smaller groups of community members to have these dialogues as they don't always work in large meetings. It's really important to listen carefully and closely to your community. In doing this, you should think about what you already know about community needs. What else would you like to know and how can you find out? Check in with your community regularly. What might have changed? Are there new needs that you hadn't thought about before? This shows the community that you're listening to what they think is important and what they need from you. It also shows your funders and partners that you understand the needs that they are funding you to respond to.